So I'd like to present to you the best trial that I could find. This was a case control study. So in this study, 63 patients who presented with constipation were recruited and high and low fibre diets were compared in these patients. And this also included a zero fibre diet that required the complete cessation of all vegetables, cereals, fruits, wholemeal breads and rice. So this graph here represents the percentage of study participants before the study suffering from each of the symptoms listed on the right side. So you can see, before the study started, all of them had constipation and strain opening their bowels, and a number also experienced bloating, bleeding, and pain. And when the study participants, in the, those who went on a high fibre diet, we can see that the proportion suffering symptoms actually increased, especially bloating. So then there was a reduced fibre arm. And what you can see here is that those on the reduced fibre diet actually demonstrated a modest reduction in symptoms. So the question is, what happened to those, the majority of those in the study, who had zero fibre in their diet? <laughs> this is not a mistake. I didn't just forget to put something in the slide there. <laughs> now, not one patient on the zero fibre diet had any symptoms. That's quite astonishing, really. And these findings were highly statistically significant, highly. They weren't due to random chance. Now, just out of interest, every single person in the low zero fibre group ended up having one bowel action per day, every day. How did this compare to those in the high fibre group? One bowel action on average every 6.83 days. <laughs> Still think that fibre is good for constipation? <laughs>